dugsiyada nuuradiin nuuradiin iskuulis Okay, welcome back to our online lessons. Uh, today we're going to talk about adverbs. Uh, chapter 9, form 4, and page 84. So if you have your book, you're going to see page 84. By the end of the lesson, students should be able to, this is the objective of our lesson. What is the objective of our lesson? Uh, determine, not to determine. Determine, the students should be able to determine the kinds of adverbs, divine adverbs. What is an adverb? And differentiate between the kinds of adverbs. So what is an adverb verse? An adverb is a word that describes or gives more information about a verb. An adjective, another adverb, or even the entire sentence. The word adverb comes for the Latin ad, in a, it means in addition. And um, febam, and the word feb, febam, febam, the word. Again, an adverb is a word that describes or gives more information about a verb, an adjective, an adverb, or even the entire sentence. The word adverb comes for the Latin ad in addition and verbum word. So this is the definition of adverbs. Adverbs always answer the following questions. Where? Adverb of time. Adverb of place. Adverb of time. Adverb of manner. Adverb of frequency. And adverb of degree. Yes. Adverb of time, uh, adverb of bliss, I went to home. I is a pronoun, went is a verb, and home is, it works as adverb of place. When? This is adverb of time, yesterday. We met him yesterday. This is adverb of time. How? Slowly. How the turtle is moves. The turtle moves slowly. So this is adverb of man how how often are the frequency sometimes sometimes it stops responding so this is uh, the the ways are verb answers and to what degree very she was very blessed so how many are verb is in here this is our verb of place and this is our verb of time and this is adverb of manner, and this is adverb of frequency, and this is adverb of degree, because pleased is an adjective. So the word very intensify the word pleased. So she was very pleased. Adverb describes. What does adverb describes? Adverb can describe a verb. She ran it quickly. So where is the adverb? This is the adverb. How does she run? She runs quickly. So the word quickly is an adverb. And tell us something about the word, the verb run. An adverb can describe an adjective. She's so beautiful. So the word, uh, so, where, uh, do, the, the word so does two, two works. Number one, it's, uh, an interjection. For example, it rained, so I stayed at home. That is interjection because it connects or links the two uh, two clauses. But now it's not a conjunction. It's adverb of degree because it intensify the word beautiful or the article beautiful. So you can say she's beautiful, but she's so beautiful. This is adverb of degree. Because it intensifies, emphasizes the beauty. 
An adverb can describe another adverb. For example, another adverb, when we say another adverb, it describes another adverb. This is an example. She smokes very rarely. So the word rarely is adverb of frequency, but very is an adverb of degree. So it describes another adverb. So this is an adverb. This is an adverb, and this is an adverb. Two adverbs. But what does very do here? It intensifies or describes. This is another adverb. An adverb can also describe an entire sentence, whole sentence, entire, obviously, not obviously, but obviously. So you don't have to come, obviously, you don't have to come. So this is, describes the entire sentence. It's an adverb of manner. In many cases, but not always, adverb have the flowing form, for example, adjective plus ly, not adverb plus ly. If you see, if you see noun plus ly is an adjective. Yes. Remember this rule. But adjective plus ly is an adverb. For example, year is, an, an, is a noun. So if I say you yearly, it's an adjective, not adverb. So whenever you see noun plus ly, becomes adjective. So do not confuse adjective plus ly and noun plus ly. They are very different. So whenever you see adjective plus ly, becomes adverb, adverb, adverb. But noun plus ly is an adjective, yearly, lovely, friendly. Weekly, monthly, all these are adjectives, not adverbs. But some people, they always get confused. They think that these are adverbs of manner, but they are not adverbs of manner. They are adjectives. Quick plus ly is quickly. So this is an adjective, and this is an adverb. This is a quick response. He runs quickly, or he answers the question quickly, the questions. What about, what about, what about strange plus ly? Strangely is an adverb. Sudden plus, sudden plus ly. Sudden plus ly is suddenly. This is adverb. Adverb of what? Adverb of manner. What about clever? Ly, cleverly. So clever plus ly is equal cleverly. This is adverb, adverb of manner. And this is an adjective, brave, bravely. Brave plus ly is bravely. So these are adverb of manner. And these are adjective. So you, you see that adjective plus ly is an adverb. There are so many, they're not Okay, tables of adverbs, tables of adverbs. Adverb of degree. Types, yeah. Types, yeah. Okay, types of adverbs. Adverb of degree, very, highly, totally, perfectly, partially, almost, not almost, almost, quite, to and so, not so, but so. All these, they are adverb of degree because they intensify another adjective or another adverb. For example, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm happy, I can say to you. But I'm so happy. This is adverb of degree. She, she's too tired. She's too tired. And I'm quite well. All these are adverb of degree because they intensify, they emphasize. The, uh, the, other, uh, uh, the other adverbs or adjectives. So these are some of them, not all of them, but some of them. What about adverb of manner? Well, badly, nicely, slowly, loudly, quietly. This is quiet. 
and this is quiet. Remember the pronunciation. This is quiet, and this is quiet. They're very different. So this has alpha of matter. Yeah. You beat the child badly. My teacher speaks English well. How does your, spe your teacher speak English? He speaks English well. So this is Arthur of matter. You beat the child badly. Yeah. She sang, she sang very, uh, nicely. Yeah. Or he scored the goal nicely. Yeah. The child is walking slowly. Yeah. You answered the question loudly. Okay. I opened the door quietly. So all this alpha of matter. Yeah. I explained the lesson happily. Yeah, sadly. Severely and weakly. What about alpha of bliss? Where? Home. Here. There. Outside. Inside. Away. Around, anywhere, abroad, up, down, and out. All this, they are alpha place. Because they tell us where the alpha was done, where the verb was done, where the verb was done. What about alpha of time? Now. Now is an alpha of time. Soon, later, yesterday, tomorrow, early, before. Lately and recently, not recently, but recently. All this, yeah, all this, they are adverb of time. They are adverb of time. Okay, adverb of frequency. Adverb of frequency. Always, never, sometimes, often, rarely, and usually, occasionally. They are adverb of frequency. So again, adverb of time, uh, I, I mean adverb uh, uh, types of adverbs, adverb of degree, these are the adverb of degree. So how are we going to use them? We're going to use to emphasize or to intensify, to in, intensify adjective or other adverbs. I'm so happy. Adverb of manner tells us how, not where or not when, but how the verb was done. How the verb was done. Well, badly. Uh, Alpha of bliss tells us where the, uh, uh, where the verb was, d was done, where, not when and how, but where. Alpha of time tells us where, uh, no, when the verb was done, yesterday. I slept well yesterday. How many adverbs? I slept, I slept well yesterday, or I played the football well yesterday. In the stadium. So this is, these are alpha of time because it tells us the time. Adverb of frequency, always, never, sometimes, over, and rarely. This is adverb of types of ar adverbs. Okay, let us work together. We have 20 seconds in each question. So choose the best answer. To complete each sentence, page 85, your form 4 book. So the driver stopped, not stopped, stopped. The bus financially, exactly, abruptly, or now. Which one is correct? You have two, 20 seconds. But I am work with you. I will work with you. So number one, we are not talking about economy in here. There is no finance, there is no money in here. We are talking about the, the, the driver stopped the bus. So we don't use this one. Exactly, it means correctly. All in all, the correct answer is C. Abruptly. Or suddenly. So the driver stopped the bus. The bus. So the driver stopped the bus financially? No. 
Exactly, no. We're not talking about money. We're not talking about the correct or something that's correct. Abruptly. So the correct answer is abruptly. Which page? 85. Take a look. What about now? We can't use now because the tennis is past. Past symbol. So how are we going to use the word now? What about during the autumn? Colorful leaves can be seen falling from tree. Yeah. Falling from the tree. Falling from the tree. Which one is correct? Anywhere, very gently and loudly. Think again. Think about it within 20 seconds. During autumn, colorful leaves can be seen falling dash from the trees. We don't use A. A is not the correct answer. A is not the correct answer. Okay. I'm very, it's not the con correct answer. Because we need it. We need an adverb of time. We don't need uh, everywhere or very lowly. We're not talking about people or something like soundies, like music, or etc. We're talking about colorful leaves can be seen falling gently. The correct answer is gently. Thank you. Gently. Why? What is the meaning of gently? Softly. Gradually. Some when uh, a leaf. leaf Falling from the tree, gently, very softly. My, ma my grandmother always smiles, said. This is an adjective, not a, an adverb. We need an adverb, but this is an adjective. What about never? Never, we, we can't use never at the end of the sentence. What about yesterday? My grandmother always smiles. This is simple present tense. So we can't use this one. The correct answer is A. Cheerfully. Happily. Cheerfully it means happily. So my grandmother always smiles cheerfully. So we're going to use the word cheerfully. After the body, comforty, comforty, or comforty. Uh, something that you see in the bodies like uh, something that has uh, 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 the people in, in the body, they always uh, blow off, like boom. So that's comforting. Was well, it's throwing, not blindly, but everywhere. The correct answer is everywhere. So after the body, comforting was thrown everywhere. OK, so we're going to use everywhere. We don't use a, uh, blindly later and carefully. So the correct answer is B. It is time to go before. It's not. What about yesterday? No. It's time. This is present. It's time. So I'm not talking about this one. Lightly. No. It is time to go now. The correct answer is B. So where can you find this exercise? Page 85. Page 85. Look at it. Page 85. Okay. Thank you very much for your watching. I say to you, repeat or uh, read your lessons whenever, wherever you are. So I say to you, thank you for your watching. So we will meet in next uh, next week, inshallah. So I say to you, assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.